Greetings, Douglas County. My name is Kelly Robinson. I'm the commissioner of the second district. Welcome. You're about to get into a video that I believe is going to be a blessing to you. Um, if you think about it, I'm just going to give you some background to this Douglas County Masterclass series. And it's something that's near and dear to my heart. As most of you know, I started my adult life in 1990. So if you run that forward to 2020, that's 30 years. It's a generation. We've been through 9-11, a great recession, and recently the great pandemic. So if I had to step back for the citizens and say, okay, since, since, I, since that 30 year period of time, half of the, I've been in elected life. What did I learn? What did I see? When I looked at the hardships and the good ships of citizens over time, there was always something that was about the fundamentals that was missing. There was voice in their understanding. And so through this video series that we've created, the Douglas County Masterclass Series, where we focus on five parts of financial literacy and four parts of entrepreneurship literacy, we believe that we've created something that, that will be sustainable. If you consume these concepts, it will lead to capacity. Moving from capacity it leads to competence. And from there, you can begin to create things that we think are so important for you to improve your quality of life. Everybody's going to go through good times, but you're going to go through bad times. But the question is, but how do I, how do I come through it? And so through these concepts, you know, yeah, how to manage your money, how to grow your money, how to diversify your money, how to protect your money, how to transfer your money. Get those concepts. We believe that'll give you a strong financial um, capability. Entrepreneurship, envision something, plan something, act on it, and harvest it. We believe this series is something that's gonna be very important to you that will sustain generations. Get the fundamentals beyond that. We'll talk about this a little bit later, but right now I've got a video interview coming up right now. It is academically sound. Uh, we partnered with one of the public universities here that we thought was important. We've got a good moderator and stuff, so you should be blessed by what you're about to hear. Thank you, Douglas County. Welcome to the Douglas County Masterclass Series. Good morning. My name is Wendy Cottle, and I manage the Constituent Services Department here at the Douglas County Government. Our Constituent Services Department really is a liaison between you, the citizens, and your county government and the services that it provides. We have several external programs in our constituent services department which the citizens can fully take advantage of. And I'm here today to talk about the Douglas County Masterclass Series with Professor Kim Holder. Professor Holder, Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Doing fantastic today. Well, will you tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about this program? Of course. Um, my name is Kim Holder. I'm at the University of West Georgia, and which is in Carrollton, Georgia, and we also have campuses in Douglasville as well as in Noonan. At the University of West Georgia, I teach principles of economics, uh, macroeconomics, microeconomics, and personal finance courses. And one of my jobs at the university is to be the director of the Center for Economic Education and Financial Literacy. Uh, our center has been around for the last 50 years. We serve people in an eight county region that surrounds West Georgia and Douglas County is one of the counties that we serve directly with everything that has to do with economics education and financial literacy. Kim, for those who don't know, could you tell us a little bit about this program? Of course. Um, the Douglas County Master Class Program is a really exciting partnership between the Douglas County Board of Commissioners and the University of West Georgia's Center for Economic Education and Financial Literacy. And the goal is to pull together free resources for the citizens of Douglas County that help them in their financial and entrepreneurial lives. So people who have questions about how to run a business or how to get their financial house in order this program was created to help them with that, and the important part is that it's at no cost to the citizens of Douglas County. It's a platform that we're working with to make sure that everything is there in one place, kind of a one-stop shop for all those things that you're supposed to kind of know how to do in your adult life, but maybe nobody ever took the time to explain it to you. That's very important. Um, I know COVID hit our county's businesses really hard and a lot of uh, business were struggling. And uh, 
I know that this program has a component specifically for entrepreneurs to help them learn how to keep their businesses afloat and set good business practices in place. Um, but can you tell us a little bit more about how this program got started? Absolutely. And, and you're right. Part of this origin was coming out of the pandemic. We saw that not just citizens in Douglas County, but everyone struggled. And there were some things that we had no control over. And there are other things that now that we know a little bit more, we can prepare so that when the next, you know, big thing happens, because the business cycle flows up and down. So we, you know, there are good times and there are bad times that we can be a little more prepared to weather the storm. So our focus here is on kind of financial well-being and that takes part in both our personal lives as well as in our business lives. And so by working with both groups, we hope to kind of make a better future for them. The origin of the program is really the brainchild of Commissioner Kelly Robinson and Dr. Greg Henley. Um, this is a this is based off of a program that they use to teach lots of people uh, a little bit about their personal finance and their uh, small business kind of lives. And what we've done is taken it into a space where it's scalable and accessible to everybody, not just um, you know the people that they were able to work with. And so they brought this to us and brought it to the county as a way to kind of further what Douglas County citizens know, so to increase their knowledge base. It's really about just these fundamentals, these building blocks. And they brought it to the Board of Commissioners. The Board of Commissioners then worked with us to kind of bring this program to life. And so this is something that's built by Douglas County people for Douglas County. That's that's really great. You know, um, lots of people who start businesses don't have any formal business education or um, knowledge about finance or economics. They just kind of start with a dream. Mm -hmm. So um, is there, are there specific problems that this program is trying to solve for people? I think of us as trying to fill in all the gaps. Sometimes you don't know what you don't know. So um, for one person, it might be that they don't know how to build a budget. For another person, it might be that they don't know how to track expenses. And for another person, it might be that they don't know how to either participate in their business's retirement plan, or if they're the business owner, they don't know what types of retirement plans they can offer. So all of these pieces are interconnected. If you don't know how to do a budget for your household, then also if you're the sole business owner, you may not know how to do a budget for your business either. And what we're trying to do is cover everything so that people can pick and choose where they know their gaps are. Or someone can work through the entire program, start to finish if they want to. I like to think of it like a buffet. Everybody knows personally what they're craving and what they need. I can't be prescriptive and make everybody do the exact same thing. That's not the kind of world that we live in. It's not the kind of government that we have. So instead, if we offer a smorgasbord of things that touch on every little piece, then if somebody really just needs the tax information, they can go and watch uh, that set of videos and access that information. And if somebody needs everything, they can start at the very beginning and work all the way through. So it's really set up to serve the people, to get them what they need when they need it, and not have to wait for somebody to cover that in their class if they're at the university, or for them to read the right book and fill it out. Instead, it's all there in one place. That's really great. So it sounds like this program is really making this information accessible to people. Um, as busy adults who are probably working a full-time job and maybe trying to start a business as well with family, um, sitting down and thinking about, okay, I need to take a whole course can be pretty daunting. Mm -hmm. um, so having the information available when they need it and what they need, uh, I think makes it a lot more appealing and accessible for people to participate. So that's really exciting. Um, 
What is the major benefit, do you think, of this program? I think the major benefit is probably going to be its accessibility. So you can watch or access the program really at any time in any place. So let me back up a little bit and explain kind of what the structure is, which might help us understand how it can then benefit people. So the Douglas County Master Class Series is a set of nine groups or series of videos. So we're going to start with the basics, we're going to move into investing, we'll get to some of the things about taxes and retirement and go on into uh, small business and small business development type topics. So we have this nine seasons, if you will, of videos and within each season or series we have eight to ten videos that are on various topics that revolve around a central theme. And each video is only two to three minutes. So you could watch the whole thing and it wouldn't really take up that much time. But the reason why we're focused on very short videos to teach people things is because we know that they might be watching it in the car rider line while they're waiting to pick up their kids. They may be, um, you know, waiting on their, their oil to be changed for their car and they have a few minutes and so why not watch this instead of you know something else that's on your phone and we know as busy adults you have to kind of find little spaces to squeeze that in you don't always have time to take a class you don't always have time to read something cover to cover or even to commit to a multi-week program so you just have to find ways to make it work and to us that idea of accessibility is the biggest benefit of this program. You can, you can access it at any time, at any place. The other big benefit of this program is that it focuses on flexibility. So accessibility and then flexibility. For the flexibility side, it's that you can go as shallow or as deep into the program as you want. If you only want to watch a video because that's the best way that you learn, then watch the videos and that's wonderful. If you instead want to dive a little deeper because you realize, hey, I don't know all the terms that are being used or I'm not really sure or I want to know more, then you can take a deeper dive by doing one of our online modules that walks you through with some exercises, it ends with an action plan and a certificate of completion. So that's kind of the little bit, now we're into a little bit deeper waters. If you want to go deeper than that, then you can complete an entire series, submit the information to us, and then we'll issue a continuing ed certificate for you that you completed series one series two and so on and if you want to go even deeper one of the things we have planned for um, not for this year but for the the years that follow is we're working on credit by evaluation so you complete all nine of the series as well as every module that goes with them and a workshop with us and we submit for university credit and so that's something that is in the works um, so we're moving in that direction. This means that you can do everything from watch a video while you're waiting in line to getting a jump start on your college degree at the deepest level. So, um, you know, one size doesn't fit all and we're trying to build a program that has this layered approach so people can get what they need. So you mentioned a jump start on your college degree. So does that mean this program is designed for young people as well? It's really designed for almost anyone. You know, we're not writing it in the elementary space. There are a lot of materials that we use for, you know, young kids like reading children's books to teach them economics and personal finance. But it would be appropriate and accessible for anyone from kind of the late teens, so in that high school level, all the way up through, you know, retirement age and beyond. And as you probably know, in the state of Georgia, you know, they pass some laws, uh, pass some bills around financial literacy. So we know that 
you know, this can be used kind of as a study tool even for students who might be interested in the topics. The key to really good financial health is to start young. So you're never too young, but you're also never too old to get involved in getting control of your financial life. So now, um, here's the question I'm sure everybody wants to know. How much does this cost? Right. Uh, economists don't really like to use the word free, but what I will say is this program is offered at no cost to the citizens of Douglas County. That's the purpose of the program, is that being able to access it is 100% free, that there are things like the continuing ed certificates that what we've built in is there's uh, the first 900 people who apply for the continuing ed certificates. We've built that into the budget already. And after that, it'll be $5 a piece, which is really to just cover the cost of issuing the certificate. Um, and similarly for the class, um, if we're able to do the credit by evaluation and we have people who complete that program, then we're waiving kind of this evaluation fee for the certain for for a certain number of people up until we hit our budget. And then after that it'll be offered still so that we have continuity that you know the program doesn't go away but just the funding source will change, so you would have that option. But you're not locked into anything, you're not required. We don't take a debit card and charge you a monthly fee that's not a subscription service. It's as deep as you want to go, and there's no cost to access all of the videos and all of the modules. Some of those are funded by Douglas County, and some of those pieces are funded by the University of West Georgia. Mm. So is there a time limit to complete, complete your program? So if you start you know, on a, in April this year, do you only have access to it until May or June? No, the, there's no timeline, which I think is really important. Um, I'm the kind of person who, it took me a long time to finish college. I had a lot of struggles with life and children got in the way, and so it wasn't really an easy path. So the, the way that I like to think about this program is it's there for you when you're ready. And sometimes, you know, you're ready for certain information. And other times, your family takes you away, life takes you away, your work takes you away. So we didn't really want to set a limit like you have to finish this in a month because we understand that this is meant to fill the gaps. So let's say that you start Series 1 now. It's open now. It's available for you to use. If you started Series 1 today and there's eight to 10 videos in it, and you finish it in 2024, it's totally okay. You should submit, and if you, you know, want like the continuing ed certificate, complete the modules and go on. If you don't, it's totally fine. So these things aren't going anywhere. Um, the uh, university and Douglas County have a three-year commitment to kind of build this out. And then we are also pursuing additional funding that would allow it to continue on in perpetuity. That's the goal, is that not being, um, not being funded by the county in any way and not being funded by the university, but through external gifts and grants that we would be able to keep the program up and running and keep it available for all. Uh, the videos aren't going anywhere, but just kind of the underlying structure. So that's the goal. And um, there's just no timeline. Now, some people need deadlines and timelines, um, but that's not this type of program. So it's open to everybody whenever you want it. So why was it so important to, to deliver a program like this now? I think that right now, you know, the pandemic kind of changed a lot of us. We went through something that for most people, it never happened before in their lifetime and it probably never will again. Just, uh, you know, the economy shutting down overnight, I've never seen that. I've been teaching uh, at the college level for the last 13 years. I've never seen a college shut down, but we saw it happening all across the country. So. Right now, as we're in this recovery phase, we've, we're kind of like a, a patient that's been in a coma 
for a while and everything's not quite working yet. We have to kind of reteach and retrain and so it's a really important time to look at what we learned in the pandemic and actually do something about it. And that's what I see for the Douglas County Master Class Series is that it's really about the fundamentals, it's really about recovery and reinforcing some of these lessons so that if and when anything happens again, even if it's just a slight downward dip, even if it's inflation or uh, recession, that we're a little more prepared than we were and we learn something from our history. You know, the old saying that if you don't learn something, you're doomed to repeat it. And we really don't want to be in that space again. And so there are things that we can learn now to set us up for a better tomorrow. So say I'm a citizen watching this now and I'm ready to go. What do I do? How do I get started? Well, first, thank you. I'm so excited that you want to be part of our program. You need to go to dcmasterclassseries.com. Uh, on the website, you can access it from your phone, you can go to your local library and use a computer there, or you can use a computer or laptop at home if you have one. But dcmasterclassseries.com, if you go to the webpage, what you'll see is first a sign-up sheet for our newsletter so that you can stay informed every time a new series or season drops. Um, so you fill that information out and then you'll see a login page where you complete the information to sign up for the program. Again, it's free of charge. You, we would encourage you to use your real name so that we can reach out to you and your certificate is created correctly, but you also can you know, use whatever if you want to stay more anonymous. Um, once you go into the website, it'll then, once you log in, it'll give you all of the videos there in one place, as well as links to all of the modules that you can complete if you want to do more than just the videos. Uh, the website also, keeps track of what you've watched, so you know which videos you've watched, which ones you haven't. It allows you to rate them, put comments and things on them as well. So that's what you would do if you want, it, want to do it today. And then every time we have new videos, you'll see them in the same space where we have Series 1, Series 2, all the way up through Series 9. How many series are available now? Right now we have two and we're currently filming Series 3, so it should be out maybe within the next month or so um, is normally our timeline. I actually just finished filming series three uh, for my part and it's all on really a deeper dive into investment. So what is a stock? What is a bond? What is a certificate of deposit? Uh, can you explain the differences between different types of accounts? Like what's a money market account? These are all questions that as an adult, sometimes people think that you already know the answer to, and so they'll just make reference to it. But that's kind of financial shop talk. It's these short words that we use that we think everybody understands, and this will break it down for you so that you can fill in those gaps. So it sounds like this program is giving every age, almost every age, almost every age. Um, a financial um, foundation mm -hmm. for personal and professional life. What we know is that in Douglas County, just like in many counties in Georgia, that the median income is growing. So people are earning more and more. It's just kind of the natural flow of life. And Douglas County has also experienced a lot of growth. It's one of the largest counties in the state. and. The thing is, is that when you have more money, you don't magically come with more information of how to manage that. It's just that the mistakes get a little bigger and have larger consequences. So, you know, what we want to do is make sure that everybody is starting with the same information. If your parents didn't give you this information, we're going to help you. If you were asleep during the time that this was covered in high school, we're going to help you. If you never thought you were going to be a business owner, but suddenly you find yourself with employees and books to keep and paychecks to issue, we're going to help you have this even foundation so that everybody can start from the same starting block. 
think that's really important in terms of opportunity and accessibility, that we make sure that um, we have equal opportunity to this information, which is not always the case if it is barricaded behind going to a college or a university or buying into a specific program. So it's offered at no cost to everyone and it's there when you need it. That is actually music to my ears. Um, we know that online learning or distance learning um, became um, commonplace during the pandemic. Um, but that also came with deadlines and you have to be online at this point in time and you have to have this assignment completed by this time and you still had a lot of parameters and guidelines you had to kind of negotiate with whatever else you ha have going on in your life. But this uh, doesn't seem to have those limitations. Our goal is to kind of do for financial education um, what some of these streaming services has done for television. So if we think about something like Netflix, which used to not exist, Netflix allowed you to watch a show as when you wanted, at whatever location you wanted, if you were at the airport or if you were in your living room, it didn't matter. And you could also for most programs, watch as much as you want at a given time. That's where the binge watching came from. In the same way, we want to make these fundamentals of you know, financial education and entrepreneurial education, we want to make it available whenever you want, however deep you want, in whatever location or venue that you want, because those barriers are arbitrary of making people be in one place at one time and all working through it together. There are advantages to that. You know, the biggest advantage is you network with the people that you're in class with. You have people who are going through the same experience. But for certain people, there are high costs. So for myself, when I went to college, I had young children. And so it was very difficult to give up that time with them to attend a class versus doing it online where I could not pay a babysitter, uh, still watch them, still feed them, and yet still invest in myself in my own education. So I see this as we're making it available to everybody in a way that they can consume it instead of limiting who has accessibility to it. So let me, let me make sure I, I am clear on this, and I'm sure the citizens want to be sure they're clear on this as well. Okay, so I go to the site, mm -hmm. I sign up, mm -hmm. I can use my real name or not, yes. I don't have to put in a credit card. We will never ask you for a credit card. Okay, but am I going to suddenly start getting emails from all over? the place inviting me to you know volunteer or buy aluminum siding or whatever else kind of spam no we will not be distributing any of the information the emails the names to any external source uh, you will, when you sign up for the newsletter and when you log into the account, you get a few reminder messages just to keep you on pace to make sure that you know what's available or you know when a new series drops, just as gentle reminders. But other than that, you won't get anything else um, you know, from anyone else. Nobody's going to contact you and try to sell you something. No one's going to try to upsell something to you or program to you. Um, the only thing I could see happening is if you follow us on social media, which we would encourage you to do, then I don't control Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram's algorithms. So you may see similar type content to try to uh, boost your financial life, but nothing will come from us or from Douglas County, and we will not give away or sell any of that information. So it is all protected um, as part of our contractual arrangement. And speaking of social media, how do we find this program on our socials? 
All of our socials are DC Masterclass Series, so dcmasterclassseries.com, or for Twitter, at DC Masterclass Series, Instagram, same thing, and Facebook is the same. So we try to make it really easy for you to remember to just go to DC for Douglas County, dcmasterclassseries.com. Well, thank you so much, Kim, for, for sharing all this information with us today. It's really been helpful, and um, the resource that the county is able to provide to the citizens, I think, is going to be um, one of the things that keeps Douglas County moving forward. We're so glad you joined us today to hear about this wonderful program that the county is providing to all its citizens. We hope you will join us at DC Masterclass Series.